Hey guys, welcome back to another LMMS tutorial. I'm nearing the end of what I can teach you with this software. Uh, and really at this point, if you followed through with this tutorial, you should be to a point where you can actually start composing and creating your own music. And what you would really need to do is just get a lot more familiarity with the different instrument plugins. Uh, and then also gain familiarity with all the different effects that can be added. So if you learn what all these effects do and how to use them, which is easier said than done, uh, and if you learn, you know, how to configure, how, to, how we actually configure and change around the different sounds. Some of this is just like, not necessarily like sound theory and learning about acoustics and how sound works on a physical level. Um, and then also just learning, you know, application specific, learning how to compose music. Um, so in the future, I'm going to release periodically uh, as I have a need to create something in LMMS. I'm going to try and document it and provide uh, a nice... Uh, video tutorial for you at doing a specific uh, specific project like maybe creating sounds for a video game or creating music for your ringtone or something like that. Uh, but until then, uh, there's lots of good tutorials here on YouTube showing specific uh, use cases just like that. I did want to show you a couple quick things that we didn't cover in tutorials. One cool thing that I failed to mention and I just found out recently is that on our piano roll, there's a setting here under view that says enable note labels on piano roll. In case you want to see very quickly what note this is, like A, B. So that's kind of cool. Also, I wanted to show you exporting real quick here. So we've got, if we go to like this demo that I used a bunch of times, I like it because it's a nice short, not too complex, only has four different tracks. We can play this, listen to what it sounds like. And if we want to export this, so we can actually uh, go to file and then we can go to export. And now just export an entire WAV file just like this. So we can export that to the desktop. And then this whole song will be in WAV format on the desktop. So it's right here. We can add that to a video or we can use that however way we want to. Also, we can export MIDI. So if we do export MIDI, it'll be a .mid file. We can put that on the desktop as well. And what that'll do is export the MIDI notation for all this. So basically it exports this information and not necessarily the finished product in the way it sounds. I don't know if that exports data from automation tracks. I don't think that exports data from sample tracks. And just to show you what that would sound like being interpreted from my Windows sound fonts or whatever it's using. It sounds a lot different. It's like a piano playing this now because it's reading those notes and playing it with the best instrument that it can find. Uh, and then I want to show you one more thing. If we go to File, Export Tracks, we can actually export. If we go to the desktop, we need to create a new folder. If I try and save it here, it won't let me. Oh, I guess it will, but I don't want to do that. I want to go to File, I'm sorry, File, Export Tracks, Desktop, and then right click and go to New Folder. And then I'll just put it in this new folder because it's going to export every track separately. So I'll just say Choose, and now it'll give me some options here for sample rate, bit depth, how I want to configure all the audio, just click start. And it takes a little while and it'll actually export every track independent of each other. We can see what that looks like here. So we have all these different audio files, the baseline. And kind of the nice thing about it is like if we go to the shaker, it's doing just the shaker instrument by itself, not, not the whole um, beat and baseline by itself. Oops. And the nice thing about that is you get nice clean audio so you could mix it better. Or if you want to adjust the sound of one of them in a different program, like in your video editor or in Audacity, you can apply an, an audio effect to each one of those. Or maybe you're passing this music on to someone else down in the workflow and they're going to do some adjusting to it. Um, that's another good way to, to give it to them rather than giving them just one, rather than giving them just this, the whole the whole complete composition, it'd be good to send them that if they don't have LMMS access to that and know how to use that. Well, guys, it's been fun. Hope you found this informative. Hope you've liked this uh, tutorial series. Like I said, check back uh, every now and then. I'm going to have some videos I throw up here probably maybe every couple months where I actually do this for a specific use, but I'm not going to be creating any more uh, things unless uh, you message me or let me know a specific thing you want to learn how to do in LMMS. I'll catch you on the next video tutorial series. Have a nice day.